Today we will learn about blockchain technology and why it can enhance trust in both record-keeping and financial transactions. But before that welcome back guys to your own channel Women in Crypto, where I share amazing and informative content through my videos. So without any further delay let's get started. Blockchain is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or cheat the system. A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. Each block in the chain contains a number of transactions, and every time a new transaction occurs on the blockchain, a record of that transaction is added to every participant's ledger. The decentralized database managed by multiple participants is known as Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT. Blockchain is a type of DLT in which transactions are recorded with an immutable cryptographic signature called a hash. This means if one block in one chain was changed, it would be immediately apparent it had been tampered with. If hackers wanted to corrupt a blockchain system, they would have to change every block in the chain across all of the distributed versions of the chain. Blockchains such as Bitcoin and Ethereum are constantly and continually growing as blocks are being added to the chain, which significantly adds to the security of the ledger. Let's actually see, why is there so much hype around blockchain technology? There have been many attempts to create digital money in the past, but they have always failed. The prevailing issue is trust. If someone creates a new currency called the X-Dollar, how can we trust that they won't give themselves a million X dollars or steal your X dollars for themselves? Bitcoin was designed to solve this problem by using a specific type of database called a blockchain. Most normal databases, such as an SQL database, have someone in charge who can change the entries, e.g. giving themselves a million X dollars. Blockchain is different because nobody is in charge. It's run by the people who use it. What's more, Bitcoins can't be faked, hacked or double-spent, so people that own this money can trust that it has some value. You must have given it thought that blockchain is this big today, almost every online platform is acquiring it, so what about its security? Blockchain is frequently claimed to be an unhackable technology. But 51% attacks at our threat actors to gain control over more than half of a blockchain's compute power and corrupt the integrity of the shared ledger. While this particular attack is expensive and difficult, the fact that it was effective means that security professionals should treat blockchain as a useful technology, not a magical answer to all problems. The 51% attack takes advantage of what is known as the 51% problem. If a single party possesses 51% of a mining pool, it is possible to falsify an entry into the blockchain, allowing for double spending, and even to fork a new chain to the advantage of the mining pool. The two main types of blockchain, public and private, offer different levels of security. Public blockchains use computers connected to the public internet to validate transactions and bundle them into blocks to add to the ledger. Private blockchains, on the other hand, typically only permit known organizations to join. Because any organization can join public blockchains, they might not be right for enterprises concerned about the confidentiality of the information moving through the network. Another difference between public and private blockchains regards participant identity. Public blockchains are typically designed around the principle of anonymity. A private blockchain consists of a permissioned network in which consensus can be achieved through a process called selective endorsement, where known users verify the transactions. The advantage of this for businesses is that only participants with the appropriate access and permissions can maintain the transaction ledger. There are still a few issues with this method, including threats from insiders, but many of them can be solved with a highly secure infrastructure. Blockchain technologies are growing at an unprecedented rate and powering new concepts for everything from shared storage to social networks. From a security perspective, we are breaking new ground. As developers create blockchain applications, they should give precedent to securing their blockchain applications and services. Activities, such as performing risk assessments, creating threat models, and doing code analysis, such as static code analysis, interactive application security testing, and software composition analysis, should all be on a developer's blockchain application roadmap.
building security in from the start is critical to ensuring a successful and secure blockchain application. Here are some more advantages of blockchains. They're global, which means that cryptocurrencies can be sent across the planet quickly and cheaply. They increase privacy. Cryptocurrency payments don't require you to include your personal information, which protects you from being hacked or having your identity stolen. They're open, because every single transaction on cryptocurrency networks is published publicly in the form of the blockchain, anyone can scrutinize them. That leaves no room for manipulation of transactions, changing the money supply, or adjusting the rules mid-game. The software that constitutes the core of these currencies is free and open source, so anyone can review the code. Concluding it, what's the future of blockchains? The blockchain idea has turned out to be a platform that a huge range of applications can be built on top of. It's still a new and rapidly developing technology, but many experts have described blockchain's potential to change the way we live and work as being similar to the potential public internet protocols like HTML had in the early days of the World Wide Web. The Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin blockchains work in a very similar way to the original Bitcoin blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain is a further evolution of the distributed ledger idea, because unlike the Bitcoin blockchain, it's not solely designed to manage a digital money. That said, Ethereum is a cryptocurrency and certainly can be used to send value to another person. Think of the Ethereum blockchain more like a powerful and highly flexible computing platform that allows coders to easily build all kinds of applications leveraging the blockchain. For example, Imagine a charity that wants to send money to a thousand people every day for a year. With Ethereum, that would only take a few lines of code. Or maybe you're a video game developer that wants to create items like swords and armor that can be traded outside of the game itself. Ethereum is designed to do that too. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to Women in Crypto for more amazing videos like this with me. Until then, peace out.